Hello! In this tutorial, you will be able to deploy your statistical machine translation for the pair of language English and American Sign Language in a written form. So as we saw in our previous tutorials, so we can build all our tools in order to deploy our machine translation. Also, I would like to invite you to see my research paper talking about the implementation and the deployment of statistical machine translation between English and American Sign Language. So feel free to start this work and also enjoy reading this article. At this stage, we assume that you build your statistical machine translation tools. And in case of any fail, we can just download a pre-built binary files of Moses and all related tools as follow. So for this reason, so I will start by creating a folder called SMT and I have to enter to this folder. Once there, I just uh, use the command wget following with the path. So uh, ashrafotman.net and here you can see the uh, machine translation Moses ready to use as a binary file and it's in compressed form so just we have to wait one minute approximately just to download the file so it's a little bit long file so once completed just run the command tar minus dash ZDF and the SMT file, compressed file. So just takes a little bit time to decompress all files. Uh, and here I have just to enter to the folder called Ubuntu 16.04. So I run command analyze to see all files here. I have three folders mainly bin, scripts, and training tools ready to be used. Just here I wanted to move. all these folders on SMT folder. So better uh, in order to use it, all these uh, folders in, uh, for our training uh, steps. So just I will recommend move bin to, to the parent folder. And also move scripts to the parent folder and move training to the parent folder. So I will run through ls, there is no files. I will be go back to the previous folder. So I will run ls again and I can see that here I have uh, all uh, binary folders, bin, scripts and training tools and I will delete uh, the compressed file and the Ubuntu uh, folder to do that just aram dash r Ubuntu folder and aram r dash r smt and I will run just again ls so here I have mainly the three uh, folder also in our previous tutorials we create a folder named tools so just we need to copy compile it gza++ files and we put uh, here under a folder named tools so to do that uh, just we need to run the command cp copy to copy all binary files and here we assume that all our uh, I said the GZ++ binary files are already available in a folder named SMT2. For more information and how to compile GZ++ just check my previous tutorial. To do this just I will need to create a folder called tools. I enter to tools and just I need to run copy from SMT2 tools GZA++ and I will put it here and I wanna copy MKCLS and I need to copy SMT01 done so 
I can check all, oh, oh, perfect. So I have here all my binary files related to GZ++ and this is very useful for the word alignment uh, during the learning process. So I'll go back to the root fo uh, folder. Now uh, it's time to uh, import our corpus, which is divided into uh, files mainly, one file in American Sign Language in written form and another file in English. So I will create a folder called corpus and I will enter to this folder. So I'm just, I need to download uh, pre-made corpus that I made for this tutorial uh, and you can download from my website uh, or using wget uh, command. So uh, it's named corpus mini .asl. So it contains mainly, I think, around uh, more than 5,000 sentence. This is just uh, for demo, because here in the server, uh, I just allocate like um, uh, low resources the server, so I cannot run big files during uh, the learning. So, uh, and you can use the same uh, method for any large file to build your machine translation. So here, I'll just to download our American Sign Language Corpora and I will download the English corpus. So here I can check all files here. So mainly I have these two files ready to use. So just here I wanted to rename uh, these two files to corpus.asl and corpus.englishen. So I just to use the command move corpus.asl to corpus dot asl and same for the english and i can see here the two files uh, ready so i will just uh, run the uh, cat corpus english so here i want to show you uh, the list of sentences available on this uh, corpora also i can want to show you For example, cat and corpus.asl. And here, as you can see, so here it's uh, American Sign Language in a written form. I will clean, clear the terminal. And now we will uh, proceed to the tokenization step. So tokenization is an essentially splitting a phrase, sentence, paragraph, or entire text or document into smaller units and such as like uh, words, terms, symbols, uh, etc. And each of these smaller units is called token. So if we took an example, for example, this is a cat dot. So here after tokenization step, we will have like a combination of uh, tokens or units uh, as follows. So we will have these is a cat uh, so uh, and this is very important in order to ensure that the alignment between english and american sign language is well uh, done so for our corpus just i will be back to the smt folder and i will run the tokenization as follows so i need to go to the, my starting from my root my folder smt script let's say tokenizer and I will call a Perl script called tokenizer.perl and as an entry language, so it's English and I need to specify the location of uh, the corpus here. So here I will start by uh, importing the American Sign Language corpus. Why I use it here as a language uh, EN because American Sign Language by the end it's an English text. So uh, tokenizing American Sign Language into tokens, it's like same process to tokenize an English uh, text. And here, as you can see, and my output will be okay, root SMT corpus corpus tok. I will say tokenize it to American Sign Language. So this is uh, the command that I use to tokenize this text. Enter. So uh, it starts uh, for one thread and uh, it can tokenize all the all the document in very short time. And I will do the same for the English, as you can see. And it's done. So if uh, if I wanted to see all these uh, 
a new file so just i will go to the corpus folder uh, here we can see that we have two new files corpus uh, american sign language and corpus uh, english and tokenized uh, form now the next step of this tutorial is the true casing true casing is the problem in uh, natural language processing of the dynamic of proper capitalization of words where such information is unavailable this is a commonly comes up due to the standards practice especially for the english and how to use capital and uh, lower and upper case characters and here through this algorithm we can automatically capitalizing the first word of a sentence in the right way and it can also arise in a badly cases or non case text for example all lowercase or all uppercase text messages and to do that we just do need to run these following commands so starting from the SMT folder by uh, calling the TrueCaser training script uh, written in Perl. So here I need to go to SMT and it's already available in scripts. And I need to call the Recaser train TrueCaser.perl. So I need to specify the model. And this is where uh, I will have the output uh, file, so I will say I will put it under the corpus uh, folder and I will call it true, true case model.en. And here I need to specify uh, the corpus in English file. So, and here I will take the uh, tokenized uh, corpora. So, as an option, so I need to specify. Corpus and I'll take the token as English. As you can see here, so uh, I need just to run the command train true cases dot Perl. So it's a Perl script, and I need to uh, uh, import the Corpus file in token as a form, and I will have the output here. Uh, name it as uh, true case model uh, dot en. So it's very fast uh, command and I will do the same for the English. And also I need to refine it, this uh, command. So by calling the true case uh, script, so throw root, so it's available under script folder and it's a case folder also and it's called truecase.perl I need to specify the model which is located under the corpus here as you can see English and I will get as an entry file the tokenized English file And as an output, a true caser uh, file. So, corpus, I would say corpus.true.en. Because in the previous step, we trained the model, and after now it's time to uh, run the true case script and get the output file. And we do the same for the American Sign Language file. Let's ch check. So I will go to the CD corpus and ls, and here I can see that I have these files generated using true casing per script. And now for uh, the next step is the cleaning. So we run the script clean corpus uh, per, uh, and it's a small script that cleans up a parallel corpora. So English and uh, American Sign Language at the same time, and it works well with the training uh, script. It performs the following steps to remove empty lines and remove redundant space character. So just I need to run this following command. So here I need to run the script, per script clean corpus, and I have to put uh, the path of the true case at corpora, English and American Sign Language, and where I have to uh, save my uh, output files. Enter. 
and here as you can see so the input sentence is like 5303 uh, uh, sentences sorry and the output after removing long uh, lines and long uh, sentences we have 4965 sentences under ls so i can see here so i have corpus clean and corpus clean english uh, file we go back to our uh, folder smt working folder so now it's time to build our language model so here it's very important to see the link between uh, tokens or let's say words so using one gram model two uh, b gram three gram models and it's used to ensure fluent output so it's built with a target language for example in our case which is english and we use the script uh, can lm can language model it's available uh, for free uh, at github and uh, through the documentation of can lm we can have a full explanation of the command line option that we can use and here uh, i just uh, to be very fast and very quick so we use three gram model the three gram model so through using the command uh, lm plz uh, it's available on the uh, binary folder and just we need to run it just uh, as follows so i need just to call this uh, file uh, language model so i will specify that output it's three gram model i will give him the true case uh, corpora and as output i will give him the corpus arpa.isl uh, so it takes a little bit time so here as you can see we calculate all value of our uh, language model and also uh, we wanted to make it more faster during the call with our statistical machine translation we need just to binarize all uh, the files instead of using text format we can use a binary uh, format so i can run the command uh, build binary so under the bin uh, folder and i will give him uh, the generated or the built language model airpa file and i may make it to a binary language model format of our uh, american sign language uh, output and i can see here the success output of uh, binarizing our uh, file so here uh, we can test our language model and we can see if it works fine or no so just i will give him so echo i will give him name you what so here it's written in um, american sign language written form so uh, throw the running the command binary query query and i can see root smt corpus corpus blm american sign language and here as you can see we can calculate the perplexity you can see the number of tokens uh, and all characteristics of our uh, language model and especially here which is very important uh, for us is to calculate the weight of each word in these sentences and now uh, let's say it's like a final step uh, it's just to proceed to train our translation model which is the very important uh, step to do this we run the word alignment uh, tool gza plus uh, plus phrase extra ex extraction sorry and the scoring uh, in order to create lexalized and reordering tables that are very uh, important to uh, be used during the decoding uh, phase and to create also our moses configuration file moses.ini and we can do all of this in only one command so uh, here uh, i recommend to create a folder called working where we will put our moses.ini file output i will enter to here and just we need like a very little bit long command uh, as you can see here our command is to see no hap nice so it's run it as a background and to run to train model.perl and to start putting uh, all information about uh, the corpus uh, location uh, the alignment tool reordering the direction etc and here i make it as a log file which is training uh, dot out uh, in the background so if i want to see 
what is working now. So I just I have to command F. So I train. Now we can see that is running in background. And here the most important uh, step for building our uh, translation model. Once we have this message that most any was created, we can say that uh, building our uh, translation model is done and completed. Just I type Ctrl C to exit uh, the tail mode. And now uh, we have our, uh, let's say, statistical machine translation built and uh, ready to be used. Uh, but here, in order to uh, improve the quality of our trans uh, translation model, uh, we need just to uh, uh, proceed to the step of tuning of our uh, data. So for this, we need to go back to our folder corpus. And I will uh, download here our tuned uh, files, which are uh, human uh, manually made. Uh, these uh, files that can be uh, used and trained together with the language model and with the translation model at the same time. Uh, and this is, uh, will improve the quality of the output the translated text from English to American Sign Language. Uh, the two files are ready to be downloaded from my website. And uh, for all details of uh, these tutorials, you can check my website uh, for the tutorial name it Deployment of a Statistical Machine Translation between English and American Sign Language. And we will run the same uh, as we did for the corpus. So we need to tokenize the tuning file and we proceed for true casing as we did. And now we just we go back to our working folder in order to uh, improve the uh, learning of our translation model. So just I want to run the same. Uh, I want to run just the Mert Moses script uh, here, and it works in the background. So I can see the output. Mert out. And here, as you can see now, uh, we are in the tuning uh, step. And it takes a little bit uh, time. And here, once we see the line saving new configuration file, we need just to uh, keep the tail mode uh, with Ctrl C command. And it takes a little bit of time. So here, it's just uh, a process using a very small corpora. So if you have a corpora containing, let's say, more than 1 million sentences, so it will take at least one day uh, to build our machine uh, translation and to train our translation model and to train our language uh, model. So at this step, uh, now we have the new our uh, new configuration, Moses.ini. So it's fine. So I Ctrl C, I will exit this mode. So uh, now we have our machine translation works very fine. So I will go to our root file, a uh, folder, sorry. So now I will test uh, Moses finally. So I'll just root SMT bean Moses. So I will run, just I will have to specify the new configuration file. So it's root SMT working, it's merged network and here we have most.ini enter now loading so uh, loading all our translation uh, model language model etc so we are ready so just i will type for example what is your name enter and as you can see it's name you what and here is the best translation so as you can see amazing amazing results here at this stage yeah. so it works very uh, very well uh, and here as you can see so um, uh, loading the translation model take a little bit time so uh, i think it's around like five seconds for just five thousand sentences 
So uh, if we can imagine that we have like millions and millions of sentences, so it will take too much time. So for this reason, uh, we can uh, binarize all our models. Uh, so I will kit the Moses model uh, through uh, using uh, typing Ctrl C command. And here, uh, just I will go back to our working folder and I will create a new folder, name it binarized model so here i will put uh, all our binarized models uh, files in this folder and i will run the following command to binarize all our translation uh, models so mainly uh, it's three commands And I copy the new uh, Moses ini files here through the command cp copy. I put it here and I will enter to our penalized model. So here, as you can see, we have uh, the new Moses uh, ini file, the new uh, phrase table, and the new reordering table. Uh, what I have to do here, uh, I have just to edit the Moses.ini. So I will use the editor uh, Vim. So it was that in me. So here I need to type I in order to start editing mode. And I need to change this phrase dictionary uh, memory to phrase dictionary compact. And I need to change the path of the dictionary uh, phrase dictionary compact that will point to our binarized model. So here the path, I will delete this path and I will put my binarized phrase dictionary. Okay. And same for the path of our lexical reordering name. That's all. And to save, just I will type escape dot dot w key exclamation mark enter. Let's save it now. And just if you want to test again, and you can see that it will be very, very more uh, faster. So CD, I will go back to our SMT folder. And just I will run again the same command to call the Moses again. And I need to specify the new Moses.ini uh, configuration file from the binarized model. So as you can see, so uh, it took only uh, 0.009 seconds to load our translation model. If we go up a little bit, so I'll try to see how much time it took. Here yeah, it's around, I think, five seconds when we ran before. Yeah, uh, it took two seconds, sorry. So 1.9 seconds uh, to load. And here it's like uh, real time 0 0.09 seconds. And th this is very important, especially uh, when we want to implement a, a web service of our machine translation. Uh, and this is what we can we will see in our next uh, tutorial. So here just, what is your name? Let's name you what say, but, uh, and very, very uh, faster, as you can see, less than one milliseconds uh, as a result. So at this uh, stage, we train our uh, translation model. Uh, we run our uh, machine translation using the Moses. Uh, the final step is to calculate the blue score. Uh, you can check my tutorial on how to calculate the blue score. And this is a very important step to see the quality of your translation. And uh, uh, 
uh, to see the quality and the blue score it came from 0 to 100 and if your score is around like 30 or 40 it will be a very good uh, score uh, at this stage there is no uh, available benchmark between english and american sign language so any score that you can have it cannot be comparable to any other uh, data sets so uh, at this stage i just i suggest or i recommend to improve the quality of uh, the corpus until uh, we have uh, let's say available corpora for uh, testing and for validating our the quality of our machine translation thanks for watching i hope that you enjoyed this uh, little bit uh, long tutorial and uh, feel free to comment and uh, also i invite you to subscribe to my channel for to see and to watch our next uh, tutorials see you and bye